We, we call ourselves Homeworks Independent Cinema because we, me and my cousin, who are HWIC filmers, who directed the film, who she was talking about earlier, Dave, we've been making films since we were kids. So okay. I was nine years old. He was 12 years old. We've been making movies since we were kids. Oh, you know Dave I mean? was 12? Yeah, he was 12. He's older than me. Yeah, so he, we've been, like, literally, this dude used to have two VCRs. Like, we remember the VHS tapes? Everybody remember the VHS? And he used to put them in the little things and edit, like, pause and record. Like, that's how... That's how long we've been making movies, you wow. know. So yeah, like that long, and that's how we got good at it. You know, right. I mean, that's how we, you know, were able to do what we did with Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Even though it's our third feature, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it was a really, our, our, it's our best film, you right. know, At the end of the day, but um, yeah, we've been making movies since we were kids, and this is something we really want to do. And we we do corporate videos and music videos, but really, our true love is making feature films, and it'll it'll always be our love. You know? Now let me ask you. Why a film like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot? That's a great question. And I remember when I met Stella, you know, and I met Stella. We, re- we recorded her play, Bridge of No Return, you know, and okay. I, I met her over on 105 in uh, Superior here with, at, the, at the library. She gave me her book, and she was like, you guys should make this movie out of this book. And I'm like... Uh, you know, because people always handed me stuff, you know, because we make movies. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, another shitty book. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, come on, man. And then I said, so I said, I'm just being honest, you know, because I didn't read it yet. So I sent it out to Dave, you know, because he, he was out of town at the time. He was visiting his family in Huntsville, Alabama. And he, you sent it out to Dave? Yeah, I just sent it out to him. I was like, all right, check it out, man. He's like, all right. You know what I mean? So he checked it out. Did you read and, it first? I didn't read it first. No, because well, that's, he, he, you know, his, his thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I really didn't. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't right. read it first, you know. Right. So he, he, so he took it. He read it. He goes, he goes man, I could make a really good movie out of this. He goes, the way it starts and everything, you know, he goes through the whole thing. And he's like, this is really good. Right. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm like, all right. I'm like, let's see, you know, let's see what you can do. So he he adapted the book into a script. Right. And um, that's how we did it. But it actually, it really, I mean, it was really good. It was the rare case where it wasn't bad. It was actually right. good. You know what I'm saying? So right. shout out to Stella on that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Big shout. Well, I guess that's the case. Yeah. I guess that's the time you say you can't judge a book by, by its cover. cover. Right. <laughs> I guess it's too. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. Now, yeah. a main character in the movie is very important. Correct. It sells the movie or it sinks the movie. Correct. Yeah. How is Philia Thomas the main character? That's that's a great question. And because and, really, in a movie like this, especially like this, where she because she tells a story. I don't know if you guys know she narrates the movie. Right. For those of you who haven't seen it, she narrates it from the beginning to end. So right. you're you're hearing it from her perspective. And um, we, me and Dave talked about this a lot. We're like, we got to get the right chariot because if she's not right. The movie sucks. You right. know what I'm saying? And there's, and there's really no getting around that. You right. know what I mean? It doesn't matter how good all the supporting Don't roles matter, are. It doesn't matter yep, the it, cinematography, exactly. the shooting, the right. lighting. The lighting. If, if, good point. If You're right. Is not on point. If she's not on point, the movie sucks. WWOL 103.6 on your FM dial. Smile for a while. This is your man, Johnny Specials, right here. Know, and she was really, I mean, when I say good, I mean, she really went above and beyond. Like, she actually organized all the actors on Wednesdays, because we shot on the weekend, so we would shoot from Friday through Sunday. She would organize everybody during on Wednesdays, because the, the um, schedule would go out on Mondays. So she'd organize everybody on Wednesdays to shoot the scenes on the weekend. So, I mean, she really went above and beyond. I mean, it, it, honestly, man, it, it, she really, she did the thing. I mean, she did her thing. Sound I mean, like she was real hungry. It's Amen. Cleveland's yeah. own Stella Hall right here. Now Stella Hall, she wrote the book that got adapted by John and his crew that got made into the movie Swing Low, Sweet Cherry. How you doing, Stella? I'm good in your creative, show. talented, hard w- working woman. Yes, yes, yes. Hot movie. Hot movie. Yeah. Hot movie. Hot movie. All right. Oh, you- you you got to be proud because it's almost like a little baby, you know? Yes. A little baby, yes, you know? Yes, Come yes. to life. A, a movie is totally different from a book. You know, it's totally different. So that to see the cinematography, when you seen the movie, when, when, it, when, when it aired at the, the, the festival, when it's soup, mm-hmm. you yep, know, yep. when it aired at the soup festival and you seen it all together, all the cinematography and everything, what did you think? When I first- Honestly, what did you think? I was in my seat 
like this Hollywood. This is, this, this, this is Hollywood. I I knew he did. They did good work, but it is really a great movie. Yeah, it, really, it it really is yeah, a great he movie. movie. You play, uh, you know, Cherry's best friend in the movie. Yes. Now your name is Chanel, right? Mm -hmm. Now what was the name of the character you played? I played Lily. Lily. Mm -hmm. and, and what is your character about? My character is pretty much. Cherry is Ace Boon Coon. <laughs> Advisor. And yeah. Do you help to keep her on the right path or do you try to... I actually straight? don't know what's going on. You don't know mm -hmm. what's going on? I'm just along for the ride. I'm just along for the ride. He's just along for the ride. Now, when you first seen it, were you at the... At, at, when it was at the Greater Film Festival? Yes. You seen it? Now, what did you think when you seen yourself and everything on it? What did you think? It was weird. It was yeah, weird. Yeah, I was scared. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, that's not you, me. So you were dreading all the way up until your part came on? Yeah. Like, yeah. You're yeah. looking real good. I hope yes. I don't mess it up. <laughs> right. That's how you was feeling? Yes. And then, you know, were you kind of like paying attention to to the what, what was going on in the yes, audience? Yes, yeah, Maybe everyone kept laughing at me when I went out in the movie. I guess because right. I was, I don't know, funny, but right. yeah. Right. Did, did you figure that type of reaction would be when, when the next, when the, when the, when the pub, viewing public see the movie? Uh, yeah, because when we used to we used to watch some of the clips back, right. and everyone would be laughing. I'm like, oh, the people in the audience are going to be laughing, too. It's going to be so weird. Because Lily wasn't supposed to be a funny character. Right. So it's for her to come out like that, I think it, it brought a little more to the oh. movie, you know. All right, now we got Hakeem, too. Hakeem, you got a part in the movie. You know, what, what's your character? Uh, I play Ace, which is um, Felia's love interest. Well, uh, Cherry's love interest in the movie. Okay, you said for Leah first, so yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, so you play her love. I love both of them actually. Yeah. I love really? Both of them. <laughs> now, hold, I, I always want to know about something like that. You know, when you play those type of parts where you got a love interest and you know you want to go. Did you have to kiss her? Yeah, yeah, we we actually had the you know this we had to practice you, hey, you first sure though because it's like down. two people <laughs> two people not knowing each other from Adam like oh here you know y'all both got the right, you know right. role. Let me see she, magic she happen. She didn't you know do you like saying? Janet did Tupac and make you go clean your nails. No, and no, and no, she did not that. do that. Now she we got Ralph Poole Jr. Ralph oh! Poole Jr. Oh! Where are he? Oh, I, I just saw him walk past. He went to the store down the street. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Ralph? How you doing, How man? How you doing, my brother? Now, nice what, you play a part in the movie, too, right? I'm Lou Day, so I'm the, I'm the crackhead of the movie. You're the crackhead hey, of the movie. And I said the same thing. I'm like, you ain't had to hit no stems or nothing. And Chris, Chris Rock did it on his first thing. I'm going to do it on mine. So right. let's see where we go from here. Right. We're going to go upstairs. We can't go nowhere Hold else. Hold on. Did you, did you have to chop? Did you? <laughs> upstairs. We're going upstairs. So what did you do? You played the I can't tell it. I can't tell it. Did you play the block for a minute and peep the fiends out and then say, yeah, I'm going to do it like that or what? Well, I stay in EC too, so <laughs> can I can I be straight up? Yeah. Let me get a cigarette. I don't even smoke cigarettes. Right. Come on, man. Right. Brother up. Right.